Welcome to WebGility Recap, a series of videos aimed at getting you started using WebGility. In this video, we'll go over the process of connecting QuickBooks Point of Sale to your WebGility Desktop software. Once you've connected your first store to WebGility Desktop, you'll be prompted to connect your accounting software. If you've connected a store before, you'll be asked if you'd like to use the existing connection, but in this case, we'll set up a new one. But before we do anything inside of WebGility, you'll want to go to your QuickBooks Desktop Point of Sale connection and make sure that your e-commerce connection is set up and activated. Open your POS and make sure you're logged into the admin user, and then go to File, Set Up Interview, and then under the e-commerce tab, make sure you're signed in and activated here using your WebGility credentials. Once you've signed in and activated and everything is good to go with your e-commerce connection, you can then go back to WebGility. Again, if you've connected a store before, um, you will be prompted to uh, select an accounting software. Uh, in this case, we're going to use a new connection. Uh, under the Accounting POS ERP software dropdown, we're going to hit POS 5.0 and up. For the data file name, you can find that at the top left side of your QuickBooks POS connection, in this case, WebGilly Store. For the POS server computer name, it should populate automatically. And then for the version, we're going to select 19. Once you've selected the version, you'll want to hit Connect to QuickBooks. You should see a dialog box pop up in QuickBooks POS asking you to confirm access to QuickBooks. This allows WebGility to connect at any point in time to make changes or post orders, um, and you'll see an option that says yes always in the dialog box. Since I've done it already, it will not pop up for me, but you should see an option to hit yes always, which will make sure that WebGility always has access. Once you've gone ahead and, uh, and accepted the permissions there, you should see back in WebGility that your items and other data have downloaded. Hitting continue finishes the process of connecting your accounting software to WebGility Desktop. After this, you'll see some preliminary settings for order posting and status, which can be changed later if needed. If using a Shopify store, you'll need to specify your Shopify location to sync to before continuing. Congrats! You successfully connected your POS to WebGility. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.